in today's video, I'm gonna take my boy Emiliano through the dumbbell bench. Very important exercise for those pecs, looking good for the ladies on the beach. No, I'm kidding. This will improve your performance, not directly, but I actually like to think of upper body as indirectly improving your performance. Yes, it'll improve your shoulder to shoulder ability. Yes, it'll improve your ability to push, but we're not trying to push during games. Actually, what it will do is it'll make you look better in the jersey. It'll complete your frame. You'll look more athletic, which is gonna improve your confidence on the pitch. Because when you look yourself in the mirror and you throw that jersey on, for game day, you're gonna be feeling fresh, you're gonna be feeling confident, which is gonna improve your ability on the field because when you're confident, you have the ability to play riskier balls, riskier passes, take more risky actions. So, I just wanna explain that to you really quickly, and then we're gonna get into the exercise. We'll talk about more how upper body training helps footballers after we complete the exercise. So, what you wanna make sure that you can do is about 10 good solid push-ups before getting into this. So what you wanna do is you grab the dumbbells, you put them on your legs, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly go back, making sure your head's on the bench. And what we wanna do is we wanna first focus on creating the base. So we got the feet driven into the ground, the feet forward, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those dumbbells and we're gonna press them up. So inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down, Exhale on the way up. So what you wanna do is as you're coming down, you're squeezing those shoulder blades together, like you're pulling a pencil in between the shoulder blades, and then as you exhale, you're pressing up. We wanna be as explosive as possible. Every exercise we do as a footballer, we wanna work max intent. We wanna make sure that rib cage is staying down and we're pressing. This is gonna work the shoulders, this is gonna work the chest, to work the triceps, overall pushing muscles, but also gonna improve overall general strength. As you see here, his neck is nice and long, nice and neutral. He's created a nice double chin. And as you see, he's driving being as explosive as possible. So when he's done with the dumbbells, he's gonna slowly put them down or pick them off, depending on the way you're working with. And as always, we start slowly. We work with weight that we can first control because the dumbbell bench press could be a dangerous exercise if you let it be. But as always, we start slowly we work with lower weight, perfect the technique, and then once we have it down, we can add our power element. So let's go over reps and sets here. As always, this depends on your training experience, training age, where you are in the season, and your overall goals. For most of my clients, I first start them off with about three to five sets of eight to 12 reps to build up the volume, to build up the general strength and the foundation. And then once we get into power phases, we move into three to five reps of about three to six, eight reps. As always, we work with max intent and our goal is to challenge ourselves, but still stay safe. What do, you, what do you think of the dumbbell bench? You think it helps you on the pitch? What, what do you think of it overall? I think when you're in the, you know, when you're on the pitch on game day, even training, you just feel better. You know, mm -hmm. you feel strong, you feel confident. Yep. It makes you play better. You know, most of the game is mental. You know, gotta be mentally sharp, mentally ready at all times. So this is just an extra 1%, you know, that you Absolutely. could utilize to improve that confidence on the ball. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah and, and additionally, this upper body type training, it releases very good neurotransmitters, which are good for the brain. Dopamine, serotonin, and testosterone. Those three are essential for performance and overall happiness and overall mental clarity. I hope this proved to you that you gotta be including the dumbbell bench press in your training regimen. You don't need to do it four days a week, one to two days per week, or even once per week is good enough. Just make sure you do it with max intent and max quality. Make sure you click one of these two videos right here to stay up to date with the best football development channel here on YouTube. Stay safe, stay healthy, deuces.